so I have possibly have the world's largest fucking video collection thing in the fucking existence of everything. And I actually didn't think I looked that bad today. But look at the mirror. And I'm like, oh, I don't look that bad. And then you get on webcam and then I look like a total bag of shit. But, um, <clears throat> I definitely don't mean to look the, as, as bad as I look. Oh god, I have to like fix this because this is gonna piss me off. If I look like total shit. Eh, whatever, that'll work. Um, but anyway, I have a nail polish collection video. And I know I did one recently, but it just keeps growing and growing and growing. And then I get rid of things because some of them, you know, get all derpy because I've had them for years upon years upon years upon years. And yeah. So. I basically. I need to stop buying nail polish, but I'm going to keep doing it anyway because I have a fucking problem. But I pretty much categorized it by the brands of nail polish and like the certain, like, certain line, I guess. Like, uh, say the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear, that's all one thing. Uh, I mean, all the simple colors is pretty much just kind of like the same thing, and all the china glaze ones, basically by what the bottle looks like and what the name on it is or whatever, but, um, like Fast Dry or Wild Shine or, you know, shit like that. But yeah, I'm going to jump in and start with nail art, because I really don't care about that stuff, and I just want to get it out of the way. Because, <laughs> um, I don't really nail art up my nails much, but, um, I have a Kiss nail art paint in... I guess just silver. I have it has. Oh, silver glitter. And it's silver glitter. And I have a uh, Kiss Nail Art paint in just white. Simple Colors Nail Art thing in Lazy Girl. It's like a silvery dark, uh, grayish, whatever color. It's really pretty though. Um, and then I have an LA Colors Art Deco nail art thing in baby pink. Same LA Colors Art Deco nail art thing in mint green. Which looks just bright ass green, I guess. And then this one's just uh, Nail Art by Diamond Cosmetics. My grandma found it at Dollar Tree. I have no fucking idea who the hell actually makes it, but um, it's called Gold Glitter, and it's literally just gold glitter. It's very thick and chunky, though. I haven't had it for that long, but it's thick and chunky, and debating on whether I should get rid of it or not, but screw it, it's in the video. Then, okay, I have six of the Sally Hansen Complete Salon Manicure polishes. Some of them I haven't used in a while, so they're a little, uh, you get that thing at the top where it's all liquidy looking and you have to, like, shake it up and it kind of remixes. But this one is in Model Behavior. Um, First Kiss. Lavender Cloud. It does have, have a little purple tint to it, but it's very, very hard to see. Unless you're really looking at it and going, oh, okay. Um, this one's Mousseline or Mousseline. Oh, that one's pretty much white. It's like an off-white, I guess. Um, this one's Paparazzi. And this one is Navy Baby. Which deceives you, and it looks, uh, looks purple, comes off really blue, and, uh, you, you'd figure, since it's called navy, it would look blue in the bottle, but it actually looks purple, and you can clearly see it looks purple, like dark purple, but nope, comes off dark blue. I have two of the Sally Hansen Diamond Strength. No chip nail colors. This one's must have iris. 
which I've used quite a bit of. And this one is a blue frosting, I think. Yeah. I don't have contacts at this very second, so I can't really read a lot of things. But that's blue frosting. Very, 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 very pretty. Now I got my Revlon ones. This one, and they're all just pretty much the regular Joe. I mean, I think two of them are scented, but that's pretty much it. And even if the scent's not really prominent, so it doesn't really matter. But this one's Craving Coral. Um, no sh what the fuck? No shrinking violet. I don't know. It's purple though, and it's pretty, and I've used it a lot. I've, I've used at least half the bottle. I don't know why I have a thing with it. I don't know. Um, this one's watermelon fizz. It's supposed to smell like watermelon. Originally why I bought it. it doesn't smell like watermelon. Um, this one's ocean breeze. This one's supposed to be scented too. It's not. It's just really pretty. Um, this one's popular. A lot of chunky glitter in it. This one is Temptress. Blue Lagoon. Sweet Tart. One of my favorites. Because it's bright pink and peach petal. Very, very, very light pink. Very light. It's almost hard to see, but um, now China Glaze, which I have a lot of, so you better be in your fucking seat for this one. Um, let's see. Blue Bell's Ring. This one's blue and silver in one. It mainly looks blue with like a little bit of silver in it, but no, it, it's silver and then I have, I think, white cap. Very sheer, shimmery white. Um, what's this one? Razzle Me Dazzle Me. Basically a very, very, very uh, glittery ass polish. And by glitter, I mean there's like a variety of shit in this one. If I do remember correctly. Like there's like the thin black like confetti looking shit in it and then there's a big chunky glitter and I don't know it's pretty much clear polish though itself just with a shit ton of glitter and whatnot in it confetti remains um, this one is surreal appeal this one is one of my favorites vertical rush used a lot of it I've only had it for maybe a year or so but I love it this one is also one of my favorites. I have a lot of favorites. I don't know why. But it's Watermelon Rind. And that was a recent purchase of mine. And I've already used a good amount of it. Um, this one is Black Mesh. I've had it for about a year. A little over a year now. It's China Glaze Black Crackle Polish. This one is Blue Iguana. This is a China Glaze Magnetics one. I have the magnets right here. And and they're not just for the gel, gelish, gel nail polish. You can use them for really any magnetic nail polish, but they're just different like magnetic wave things like there's different like patterns there's like three or four different things in there that'll give you a different like pattern for the magnetic thing on your nail but um this one's called gold fusion i'm not a big fan of the color for some reason but um i don't know but the magnetic thing works okay on it i guess I guess with it being gold it doesn't look as cool versus if it was like a darker like a gray or something like that. This one is Designer Satin. Oops, wrong one. 
This one's 108 degrees. This one's really pretty. And then the last China Glaze one is What Are You Waiting For? And that one's freaking pretty too. Now for simple colors. Uh, this one's Secret Admirer. I've had this for quite a while. I've used a lot of it. I really do like it. And then this one makes me shut the fuck up again. Um, this one's Frenzy. I've had that one for a little while too. This one's a unicorn. I already know. I don't even have to look at the name. Yep, see. A unicorn. I was not lying. And this one gets me shook up also. That one's pinky glitter. Like no shit. It says pinky glitter. This one I've had for quite a while and it's midnight blue. Which is also very pretty. This one is Pimbleberry. What's your name? Looks black, but if you look in, oh, it's hard to see because my lamp reflects off of it. But there is actually like bluish, purpley glitter within it. But you can only see it when light, like legit light, shines on it. Like otherwise, it just looks like black polish. And then this one is, does not have a name because the sticker is not on it. Because I got it from Dollar Tree because they have a bunch of them in Dollar Tree, so. But it's one of the hot pink ones that they have, and it's it's pretty good. Now for the Sally Hansen Extreme Wear Polish. I have Emerald City, Sunkissed. I feel like look at the names because they're on the top. Deep Blue Sea. Set the stage. Red Carpet, Ivy League, Blizzard Blue, Rockstar Pink, I think, right? Yep, Rockstar Pink. Fuchsia Power, Midnight Sky. Teeny Greeny Bikini, Tealy Cool, and Twinkle Twinkle. Just one of my favorite glitter polishes to put over a pretty bright neon color. Now for the Wet n Wild Wild Shine nail polishes. This one is in Bayou Blue. Lady Luck. The front part of it wore off. Um, wild Card. Dreamy Poppy. Rain Check. Lavender Pearlescent, Blue Moon, Red Red, um, Sparked, Metallica, I have two of these for some reason. Why? I don't know. But I have two of Metallica. Um, trying to keep this shit organized. Burgundy Frost. Tickled Pink. Caribbean Frost, Hallucinate, J. 
Jezebel. It's one I bought a couple days ago, and then I bought this one a couple days ago, and it's Frosted Fuchsia. I have two of the um, Hot Topic Black Heart nail polishes. They're like five bucks a piece, I think, depending on what they are, four or five, I'm thinking. Because this one says five on the back. I'm pretty sure this one was four or five as well, but um, I don't think that these have names, but this is a hot pink one. A black heart, hot topic line of fucking skull polish that they have. And then this one's supposed to be three different colors. Uh, you can't really see the mint green color anymore because it's kind of getting buried by the purple on top and then the pink on the bottom, but there's like a green, mint green that's getting like buried. You're not supposed to shake that one, and I didn't read it before I shook it. <laughs> Oops. My bad. Um, next are the Sephora by OPI nail polishes. This one is teal. We meet again. Really pretty teal color. Um, time for a mani. Oh God. Um, leaf him at the altar. This one I probably need to pitch because this one's kind of uh, a little useless. It's one of the white blasted like crackle polishes, but they call it blasted for some reason or another. And this one is blasted turquoise glitter, another one of the crackle kind of polishes. And then this one is what's your poinsettia. Then I have three of the Nicole by OPI polishes. I have this one in hot and gold. I actually found a Dollar Tree. How? I don't know. I have Follow Me on Glitter. I'm pretty sure that's one of the Kardashian hooker polishes, but I thought it was pretty and I was like, why not? And then this one is Respect the World. Then I have the Wet n Wild Fast Dry polishes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I have eight of these. This one is the Wonder Yellows. This one's How I Met Your Magenta. This one is Teasy Peasy. Everybody Everybody loves Redmond. <clears throat> Bling it on. Dancer is the best reindeer. Happy holidays. And Ebony hates Chris. And Ebony Hates Chris is literally just like a jet black nail polish. And it stays on for a while, so kind of dig it. Then I have four um, pure ice polishes. I have All Nighter. Burgundy. If I don't drop it on everything, because I can't hold a bottle of fucking nail polish with my life. For my life. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, I don't know what this one's called, but it's like a white, just white, that's all it is. Then I have a black one, I don't know what that's called either. The stickers fall off the bottom of these, but it's just jet black. And then this one I bought the other day as well, and this one is called Never Satisfied.
which I suppose is a little appropriate for me because no matter how much nail polish I buy I'm never satisfied. It's probably why they put that there just for me. I have two Milani nail polishes. This one's Winter Wine. One of my pretty colors that I commonly wear on my nails. I know I'm not wearing it today though it kind of looks like I am. I'm not wearing that. And this one is Midnight Satin. It's like a bluish blue purple very dark color. I have a couple Orly nail polishes. One in Hookup that's like a bright ass yellow. And then this one's Twilight and I've used the absolute shit out of it and it's kinda like a very thin glitter polish. I have four of the Wet n Wild Rock Solid polishes. One in Quartz of Horse. Knight in Shining Armor. That one's clear. This one is Amazing in Amber. And this one, I don't know what the fuck it's even in because everything is wore off of it because I've had it for so long. Like, I don't even know what the fuck the name of it is. Unless I googled it and went pink, rock solid, wet and wild polish. I don't fucking know. Um, yeah. I have four of the Sephora and Pantone Universe polishes from last year. The color of the year was like tangerine, whatever. Um, I don't really like orange that much, but it's a birthday gift, so it's, it's cool, I guess. But, um, like some of these I have to shake up because I haven't used them in a while. This one's Tangerine Tango Glitter. I think all of them say Tangerine Tango, so I think that's just the shade of orange or whatever, but that's the glitter one. And they're like little square bottles. This one's Cream. I guess that's the finish of them anyway. This one is Shimmer. The only one I've got a decent amount of use out of. And... This one's matte. I have a Revlon Nail Art Breakup double ended nail polish thing. One side is like a like a blue gray color and then the other side's like a silver shatter polish kind of thing or crackle, whatever. But it's very thin, it's not really thick like the usual crackle polishes are. Then I have a bunch of NYC and a New York Color Minute quick dry polishes. This one's flat iron green. It looks black until you like shine it in the light and then you see that it's actually a really dark green. Golden Glam. Chelsea. Yes, it's literally called Chelsea. I have a friend named Chelsea and I found another one of those and I bought her it. I was like, hey, hey, hey. it says Chelsea, you can have it. It's kind of funny, but I don't know. Peach Sparkle. City Sweets Pink. I don't even know how many pinks I have. It's a pretty ridiculous amount. Radio City Rose. East Village. And I have, I think, four of the Wet n Wild Mega Last old small packaging polishes. This one's Heat Wave. This one's Disturbia. This one is Break the Ice. And then this one is Candylicious. Little did I know that when they repackaged it with the bigger, nicer packaging and the dry, fast formula kind of stuff, I definitely did not expect that a lot of the colors would be like overlapping and like the same colors as the smaller versions were. 
And I ended up buying duplicates of, I think, two of them, I think, right? Yeah, just two of them, but I didn't realize that until after the fact, and I was kind of, kind of angry. Because <laughs> I have duplicates of shit I don't need. Um, these all are in, like, a collective group where they don't have a bunch of other ones that go with them. They're just kind of by themselves. But, um, they're, like, a variety of different types of polish. And this one's Sally Hansen Lacquer Shine Polish in Lustrous. It's pretty much just black. It's very runny, though. And I have a Sally Hansen Hard as Nails in Frozen Solid. This one's brand new, and I'm actually wearing it on all the nails that look reddish. This is one of the Julie G nail polishes and Big Red Bow. I got this for like a dollar at um, Bay Lots the other day. thought it was pretty and I know Julie G is a YouTuber so I got all excited and I was like, hey, nice. Hm, not bad, not bad. I actually do like the formula though of the polishes. They did pretty good with that. Then I have a little itty bitty baby wet and wild nail polish, the color craze thing that they had like a long time ago, maybe three or four years ago. I don't know the name of the polish though. I don't. Like at all. I have no idea. But it's very small and very much green. I'm pretty sure you could google it and find it. You could probably find it on eBay even, but I don't know the name of it because it was in a bottom of a clearance thing and I was like, hmm, pretty. Um, this is a Cosmetic Arts polish, and I don't think this one has a name either, but it's like a frosty, silvery blue color. I have Sally Hansen Insta Dry and Fast Fuchsia. And this shit literally does dry within like half a minute, if that. I have a finger paints nail polish in fuck. I don't know, but it's some ruby slipper looking shit. Then I have LA Colors Color Craze Polish and Did I write a name on this like a long time ago? Oh, it rubbed off. The Sharpie rubbed off. Damn it. I think I named it Sparkle Sparkle because I didn't think it had a name. And if it does, I can't see it. But it's all silver and pretty. I have a L'Oreal nail polish in Silver Sparkle. That one's really pretty. It takes a while to dry though. It's the only down part of it. And I have a Playdio Green Tea Nail Fortifier. For simply strong nails that don't break, chip, or peel. Not bad, not bad. Use quite a bit of it. And then I have a War Paint Beauty nail polish that just basically mats down whatever is on your nails and just makes it look just plain. My hair keeps making my nose itch. But anyway, um, fuck, where was I at? Oh, Christ. Right when I remember where I'm at, I'm like, shit. I look at all the nail polish that I have left to go, and I'm like, damn. Anyway, I have an NYC long wearing nail polishes that I'm showing next. This one needs to be shook up. I have Fuchsia Shock. Broadway Burgundy. Starry Silver. Purple Pizzazz Frost. Fuchsia Glamour, which I think is a very inappropriate name because it's light pink with very small, pretty glitter. 
there's no fuchsia anywhere in that. Um, classic coral. Big money. Black cream. And extra shiny top coat. Which I really not the biggest fan of the top coat because I don't feel like it works very good. I have a couple Maybelline Express Finish polishes. One's in Onyx Rush and it's just a jet black nail polish. And then this one is in Denim Dash. And that one's blue. I have three Maybelline Color Show polishes. I have this one that I've had for a while. Pink Shock. Use the shit out of it. Dump some on my carpet on accident. It happens. It definitely happens. And these other two I bought like within the last week. This one's Purple Icon. Very, 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 very pretty. And this one is one of the metallics and it's an amethyst ablaze. It's so pretty. My nose keeps itching really bad. Okay. I have four petites polishes. I have this one in days. And one in dare. And French white and French pink. It's pretty much very, look very similar, but you can kind of tell which one's got the pink tint to it and which one doesn't. I have four e.l.f. polishes. This one's plum. This one's fairy. Golden Goddess and Light Red. I have a few Rimmel nail polishes. Um, a few of them are like the 60 second things. I think all of them are 60 second things, but like there's different like finishes to them. This one's Gray Matter. This one is Night Before, and this one is Silver Bullet, had it for a while so I've used a lot of it. This one is 60 Second Vinyl Shine in Stop Traffic. This one takes forever and a day to dry, and then two of the smaller ones that are newer packaging I guess. They're just a lot smaller and they're like a buck fifty at Walmart. And this one's pulsating. I don't know where my hair is falling in my face, but and then this one is cupcake pink. That one takes a little bit longer to dry, but it's turns out really pretty. And I have three of the um Forever 21 Love and Beauty polishes. This one stains the shit out of my nails, but it's so pretty. It's called Patina. This one, I ripped the label off on accident, but uh, it's like a burgundy color with golden glitter in it. I've had it for a while. Like it might even be in a Forever 21 haul on my ex party panda channel, but you know, whatever. And then this one is just turquoise, but more like turquoise glitter because there's glitter within it. And it's really hot in my room. Why? Ugh, damn it. I have the newer packaging, Wet and Wild polishes. Um, this one is Under Your Spell. Oh, no, those are the Megalast. Can't talk. 
the new Mega Last packaging that looks all fancy and pretty and has a lot more in it than the other ones. But this one's under your spell and it's like a dark, deep burgundy-ish color. Um, this one's called On a Trip. Candylicious. Heat Wave. And I need a refresh mint. I have two of the Sally Hansen Magnetics or Magnetic Nail Polishes. Um, I'm actually wearing that on like every other nail. And it actually does work really easy. Like I thought it was gonna be pretty gimmicky and stupid and whatever, but actually it en ended up looking really pretty. And it's called gra the one I'm wearing is called Graphite Gravity, and it's the more silvery charcoal color. But it ends up looking really, really cool when everything's said and done. I haven't tried out the other one yet though, so I can't really say the same for that one, but. I can assume it. Um, this one's Electric Emerald. And this one's more of a grassy, moss, green color. And I have... Fuck. Did I only have those little ones left? What? Damn, that went fairly quick. <laughs> that was going to be a lot longer. Oh well. Um, this one I don't think has a name, but it's a little tiny Sally Girl, like 99 cent polish, and it's like a taupe color. And then I have two um, Sephora by OPI, very, very tiny nail polishes. And the names aren't on them, and I don't really remember them, but they came in like a little set for like two or three bucks. But one's gold and one's silver. But yeah, I, pr I pretty much think that that's everything. Unless I'm just missing something and I'm delusional or I don't know what the fuck. But, um, like overview and make sure I got like everything. <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed if I didn't get something and have to go back and redo it. Um... Yeah, I think I pretty much got everything, but, you know. Anyway, I'm going to go, and um, the next video I'm probably going to put up is going to be a Wet n Wild brand review thing. So, look forward to that. That ought to be exciting. I'm probably going to go to sleep here in a little bit. Because I'm kind of tired. Goodbye.